Hey guys, welcome to the old Ultra Runner channel. I'm your host Jay Tynert, and today I want to do a race report on an older race that I did in 2018. It was the Perpetual Motion 24 hour race that I did in 2018. First, just a little bit of background. In April of 2017, I ran my first 24 hour race. It was the Jackalope Jam uh, 24 hour race that was held at Cat Springs Ranch out just a little bit outside of Houston. Uh, I did 87 miles and actually ended up winning the race. Uh, I actually, there is a race report for, on that race uh, that I've already recorded that you can go find in, in the in the fixed time races playlist anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, in late 2017, I had already signed up for a trail marathon when I found out my uh, friend that owns Wrath Racing was gonna put on a 24 hour event out in Grapevine, Texas, which is near, our, near my home. Uh, she was taking over the old course that was the ultra-centric race that was held in Grapevine for several years. Uh, ultra-centric had discontinued uh, running the race, I think, in probably 2015 or 2016, but uh, there had been a year or two gap. I can't remember when it was discontinued, but she took over the venue, uh, but started a new race in the same venue. Uh, I went to the 2017 race, I did not participate because I had that other trail race like one week apart, uh, but I volunteered and it was quite an experience. I enjoyed watching. I wasn't sure about it. Was, it's run on a half mile loop that goes around and around and it's real close to Lake Grapevine. Uh, it's a pretty venue, but uh, it is all pavement and I was not sure about being able to handle a hundred mile, you know, that long a race, hopefully a hundred miles on pavement. But I watched in 2017 while I was volunteering. I watched a couple people that went just over 100 miles. And then Greg Armstrong, who has been on the uh, US national 24 hour team a few times, was there trying to qualify for another team. And it was phenomenal watching him perform. He was going around and around and he was running a good pace. Uh, and I was watching on the final morning uh, he would stop every lap or two. His wife would hand him a water bottle to take a drink. He was getting to where he was very tired. You could tell because he would finish, uh, stop to get a drink. He would about stumble into the <laughs> infield. He was not real stable, but then he'd get back on the, on the course and just as solid as he could be and was still running a, a good clip. It was phenomenal to watch. Uh, he finished with 151 miles, which is still the course record right now. Uh, it was uh, a lot of fun to watch and I enjoyed volunteering. In uh, 2018, they moved the Jackalope Jam, which was my next chance for a 24 hour race. They moved it to February, but I came down with the flu the week of the race, so wasn't able to do it. So my second attempt at a 24 hour race was at Perpetual Motion 2018. This is the sweatshirt I received. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Heading into the race, my daughter, who was 17 at the time, decided she wanted to go run. And she was trying to convince me she wanted to do the 24 hour. Uh, but she really wasn't running at all. She has, she's done some turkey trots, 5K turkey trots uh, throughout the years. And she had run a 10K, I think, when she was 12 years old. But really was not training and had not trained. Uh, so finally I was able to talk her down into entering the 12 hour. I think she really just wanted to go and hang out all day. Uh, so she, she came with me. We set up an aid station for herself, a personal aid station along the course. It was a lot of fun having her there. Uh, the morning of the race, she was working packet pickup. So she worked right up until the gun start. The race started, she ran one half mile loop. She went back and started working at the aid station again. I mean, at the uh, packet pickup again for about another hour. And then she started running and she would run a few loops, walk a few loops. Uh, she was hanging out with the race director's daughter who was a few years younger and they were, they'd go walk half a loop and then they'd climb trees and play games and then she'd run around a little bit more and then she'd go hang out at our personal aid station or help out at the aid, the main aid station. Uh, throughout the day she just kept doing that and uh, she really had gone without even having proper running shoes. She wore a pair of my wife's running shoes uh, that didn't really fit her right. but. Uh, 
toward the end of the 12 hours, she became determined. She decided, well, she was at least going to finish a marathon. Um, so she went out and started really being, uh, working hard to walk and run. And, and she actually developed some big blisters on her feet, but she was determined. She kept going and she did finish a marathon. Uh, it was, she took most of the 12 hours, but she did it. And, uh, it was a very cool thing. As for my own race, um, I was concerned because I've had some lower back issues. I was concerned about my lower back being able to handle 24 hours on the pavement. And I think it was a founded, uh, founded concern. I got about 39, 40 miles in and my back started really hurting. Uh, I went from running a fairly decent pace to mostly walking with some interjected walk, um, runs in there. I got to 47 or 48 miles and um, I, my daughter was about to go home. My wife was gonna come back, was gonna come out that night. She had worked uh, 12 hours as a nurse all day and she was gonna come and volunteer starting at, I don't remember, 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Um, so I called her and told her that I was in a lot of pain. Could she bring me an ibuprofen? <laughs> And uh, I normally don't recommend taking ibuprofen. It can be hard on your kidneys, especially if you get dehydrated. Uh, at least that's what I've been told. So, but I went ahead and she brought me some up. I took it and I just made sure I drank a lot of water because I, I did not want to cause myself uh, to have uh, kidney problems. But anyway, it did help. Uh, I was able to start running more. Uh, I, after I had walked, I don't know, seven or eight miles by the time she brought that, and then it still took it probably a good 30 minutes or an hour before it started making my back feel a little better. But I was able to run and I still intermixed walks. Um, I went throughout the night. It was a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed meeting all the people. Uh, if you've never run on a small course, fixed time race, it's kind of cool because uh, you're, you're not ever alone. You're seeing people all the time. You're able to run with people that are both faster and slower than you for at least uh, small amounts of time. And you never go real long without your aid station or with uh, out, out seeing people. Um, I was able to stop at my little tent and as it got cold along the lake, the wind was blowing that night uh, off the lake and it got a little cold. Well, you're able to stop and I went in the tent and added more clothes as the night went on. But anyway, I continued on. Uh, I ended up making it to about 88 and a half miles. Uh, the men's winner did 106. I think second place did 102. I ended up becoming third male with 88.47 was my official mileage. I was very happy with it. It was a little bit more than the 87 I had done my first 24 hour at Jack Lope Jam, so it was a PR. Um, it was uh, rough on my back, but I enjoyed it a lot. Finished third. I uh, won this cool crystal thing that says 2018 Perpetual Motion with the clock. And they send you a, she sends out a, Wrath Racing sends out a uh, plate that says third male, 24 hour, my name, and 88.47 miles. So it was a very, very cool, uh, cool experience. I really enjoyed it. And uh, if you're interested in any more of these old stories, I'm still recording. I will be very soon recording the, uh, my experience at the 2019 Perpetual Motion 24 hour race, uh, if you're interested. Anyway, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you wanna hear more of these stories or uh, more of my tips, running tips or um, my shoe reviews or any of that information, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I guess that's it for today. Uh, keep moving. Thank you.